In March 2012, astronomers monitoring images from a solar telescope in Earth's orbit see something ominous just to the west of the sun's south pole. What the heck is that? It's Darth Vader's big vehicle, of course. It looks like the Death Star from Star Wars. I certainly hope it's not a Death Star. Otherwise, uh, we're in serious trouble. Planet-sized tendrils appear to connect the globe of darkness to the sun's surface. This connection fuels speculation that the sinister sphere's presence near our star is no coincidence. Why would anybody visit the sun? Well, it might be a good place to refuel. The sun burns hydrogen, the perfect fuel for a starship. Could spaceships be refueling by getting as close as possible to stars and sapping up that energy, and that's what's fueling them through space. That image certainly raises that possibility. The sun puts out more power in a second than humanity has used in all of history. But the three million degree temperatures in the sun's atmosphere would destroy any human technology. We can't use the sun for a spacecraft, but that doesn't mean some very advanced alien race can. It would require some massive engineering advances. You don't want this spacecraft to vaporize. It's not insane to think there is an unobtainium that is what you need to be able to build a Death Star that can roll right into a star to refuel. All it is is a matter of being able to handle the heat. Once the Death Star's fuel tank is filled, the colossal nozzle detaches, and the craft zooms off to wreak mayhem elsewhere in the galaxy. It's an incredible idea, too incredible for NASA, who come up with their own explanation for the black orb, involving equally astonishing non-alien phenomena. We're looking at a prominence in a magnetic bubble. It's the magnetic bubble that looks like a big Death Star. The tendrils are prominences, clouds of hydrogen clinging to the edge of the sun's atmosphere. The Death Star itself is a solar magnetic bubble the size of Jupiter, full of superhot plasma. The only thing holding the ball in place is a magnetic field, which can shift at any moment. Eventually they erupt, and that's what we're seeing at the end, this eruption off into space. So even though we don't see it here on Earth, there are these huge explosions going on in the sun all the time. 